But let's go back to Joe Namath and what he did 50 years ago yep. in Super Bowl three. Yeah, it's amazing. I can't first off 50 years ago. <laughs> you know, that is uh, it's utterly amazing. I was uh, I was age 12 50 years ago. Um, you know, I, I still think I have to go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, upsets ever. I mean, they uh, you know were playing the Colts. I believe they were double digit. You probably know better than me as far as what they were. Uh, you know. Um, I uh, expected to lose by, and uh, he came out there with all his bravado, and he went out and did it. So I have just mad respect for Joe Namath. Um, you know, it's too bad he didn't get a few more. His body um, just didn't hold out, but uh, an incredible, incredible competitor um, and someone that, you know, just admire. And, uh, again, it's, it's hard to believe that's been 50 years ago, but uh, uh, mad props to Joe Namath. Just remember, he wins the WPIL Championship, Beaver Falls, 1960, Goes on with Bear Bryant to win the national championship in college football in Alabama. Comes out, goes into this thing called the AFL for an amazing amount, $400,000. He's in his mid-20s, just turning the bend. He's in the Super Bowl against his childhood hero, Johnny Unitas, Don Shula and the Colts. And he and Weeb Eubank and company, Matt Snell, and of course, Mr. Boozer and Mr. Maynard, they shock the world and win Super Bowl three. And he runs off with that signature number one pointing towards the sky. So when you settle in for Super Bowl 53, just remember, it's magic. Anything can happen. Ty Ballou, PLB Sports on the Comcast Sports Line. Ty, enjoy the game.